So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can get a list of unique items from an array in JavaScript. So let's say you've got uh, an array of strings, or it could be numbers or some other data type as well. And you can see we've got some duplicates in there that we want to remove. So in order to get a new array that has a uh, list of the unique items in the original array, uh, we can first of all convert our array of strings into a set object. So the set object was introduced in ES6, and we can construct a new set object with the new keyword. Uh, and into the constructor function, we just pass in the array of strings. And what a set creates is a, a group of values, all of which must be unique. So what we'll end up with here is a set object that has uh, each of the values from the array of strings, but it will actually remove any of the duplicate ones. Uh, the only problem is, as you can see from the output on the right hand side, we do just have an object and there are various methods on that set object which will allow us to get the values out. Uh, but a really quick way to convert it back to an array uh, is to use the spread operator. And because the set object is iterable, uh, it will just give us a new array just of the unique values that are inside of the set. So there you go, you can see we've got all of the duplicate values removed from our original array. Uh, so this is great if your array is uh, of primitive values, but what about if you've got objects? Uh, so you'll see here I've got uh, an array of objects and very similar values, but uh, obviously they're objects now and they've got multiple properties. Uh, so if we pass in the array of objects into the set constructor there, you'll see on the output on the right hand side that we're getting all of the objects from the set. And that's because when the set uh, object tries to create the new unique values, it's actually using the reference of the object rather than the, any of the values that are inside. So we can't use this approach when we're using an array of objects. And it is a little bit tricky to actually uh, achieve this, but there are different ways. But probably the most straightforward is to basically use a for each loop to iterate through the array of objects and then push the object into a new array if it doesn't already exist in there but you need to work out how you're going to test whether or not the objects are equal. And you could do it for each of the uh, properties that are inside of the object, or it could just be one. So for example, do we want to say these first two objects are equal? Well, they should be because they've got exactly the same property values. But what about this last object in the array here? Uh, although its value is the same, uh, its ID property is actually different. So we need to have some kind of function to decide uh, whether an object is equal or not. So let's just create something here. So saying objects are equal. And we'll pass in two objects into this, compare them, and then we'll do it by the ID to start off with. So we'll say if the uh, ID of A, uh, the first object is equal uh, to the uh, ID of B, then we'll return true. So this means the first three objects are going to be considered the same because they've got the same ID, uh, whereas this last object will be different from uh, the first two, uh, even though it's got the same value in there. So now I'm going to populate this uh, result array. So I'm going to say an array of objects. That's the array that's got all of the objects in there. Uh, for each of those, I'm going to get the item inside of there. And then I'm going to check if the item is in the result or not. Uh, that result array. So item in result is equal to the result dot find. Let's just give this a different name. We'll say it's the result item. And I want to look through the existing uh, result array and check if the any of the objects in there are equal uh, to the current item that we're looking at. So basically item in result will be a truthy value. It will be the result of what's been found in uh, this result array. If the objects are equal function returns true uh, based on the two uh, objects that we pass into it. So we'll just put a little if statement in here saying if the item is not in the result, uh, then what we'll do, we know that this uh, there's no, not been a match. So we're going to push in the actual item. And if we hit save, you can see we've got a unique list of objects and they've all got unique IDs, uh, which is what we specified in our objects IE function. We could of course change this to value as well uh, or put any other condition in there which we like. Uh, and the array changes now. So we've got uh, objects that have got the same IDs in there, um, but have all got unique values. So there are some other ways that we can achieve uh, the same thing with using filter functions, but uh, this is probably the easiest uh, way to understand 
uh, what we're trying to do here. Uh, and also, if you are relying on this quite a lot and you want a robust method of doing it, uh, then frameworks and libraries like the Lodash library uh, have uh, functions that will do this kind of thing for you. That might be worth considering if you have uh, the ability to add packages such as Lodash into your project. So that's it for getting unique items from an array in JavaScript. Stay tuned for more web dev tips.